unlike other firms out there, we decided to build almost all of our technologies in-house. Uh, and the reason for doing so is um, one, I guess most of the high frequency trading platforms out there are still uh, brand new and um, not quite as developed as we'd like. Uh, and the second reason is, you know, it saves a lot of money, uh, obviously. And then what we've built so far uh, has been much better than uh, what's currently on the market today. So, you know, for instance, if something goes wrong with our platform, well, I, I'm able to go into my cell phone and literally, you know, kill all the trades that are happening right now. So um, it's a, for a variety of reasons, but um, obviously what's important is that we have to hire the best people in the world to do something like this. Uh, so we do hire people with a very, very specific skill sets um, coming from usually, you know, major technology companies uh, and also people from other high frequency trading firms who have had uh, specific experiences, you know, building order management systems or data feed handlers, things like that. So we co-locate our servers um, in, you know, next to the exchange's matching engines in a variety of different locations. So um, you get your typical, you know, uh, near you know Chicago, New Jersey, New York, um, Toronto, Singapore. So you know a variety of locations around the world. And then we're still in the midst of co-locating as well in some other locations. So the reason why we do that is so, um, of course, the speed is really really important. And so you know you get data from the exchanges at a much faster rate. Uh, and then I guess what's also important is that you have to be able to proce process the data really quickly. So especially if you're receiving raw data, you have to be able to clean it up really fast and find signals in that data and be able to react uh, really quickly. So um, just being co-located there isn't uh, quite enough. You have to be able to you know, internally uh, have, have really solid technologies to um, you know, generate great signals to trade in the marketplace. These days, we are pretty much almost at zero. You know, it's as fast as it's it's going to get the latency is, you know, as low as it's going to get uh, for quite a while now. Um, and so what is important for a lot of firms today is actually being one of the smartest as well as one of the fastest. So uh, you can't just, uh, you know, have a bunch of fast strategies and win that way anymore. Um, it's more about can you uh, have great technologies to be fast and also be smart. Uh, with a lot of things and then there's a little bit of optimization involved because sometimes having sophisticated strategies uh, slows down <laughs> uh, you know it actually increases the latency and so we have to be able to figure out you know what is the optimal uh, you know should we be uh, the fastest or should we be you know less fast but a little bit more sophisticated and so uh, right now we're kind of uh, I guess I mean we're pretty much we are capable of being one of the fastest um, I'll say that <laughs> um, but at the same time you know we do focus on a lot of sophisticated strategies as well Optimization does change uh, a lot, actually. Um, in fact, we revise our strategies pretty often, I would say. Um, so it does change depending on uh, not just uh, the daily market conditions, but also you know between different markets. So depending on where you're trading, what the rules are, what the regulations are, uh, and also you know how sophisticated those exchanges are, uh, we you know we have to be very specific and tailor each strategy towards um, specific conditions that happen uh, every day.